Before I conclude my presentation today on a day in the life uh, at the as an intern for the Digital Theological Library, I wanted to show a collection that I've already created. The original collection is located in the Internet Archive. However, um, the owner of the collection asked Director Phillips if he would add their collection into his. So um, he gave that project to me when we first started. Similarly, um, you uh, if you if you look at this collection, you'll see um, a title. I clicked the title. I copied and pasted the title into the um, the discovery page and found in I either found it already in the collection or I found it in the world um, the world wide libraries. Um, this collection right here is what I created. Um, just letting it load. There are a total of 525 individual items. However, there are um, not just books like you saw on the other page, but there are also um, magazines and journals like the CCIA background information right here. In order to add that to um, the collection, I couldn't add the individual magazines, as you can see on the right hand side. So to do that, I had to create a libguide, which the great thing about um, Tom is that he uh, gave me that option, which would be this one, I believe. And as you can see it here, the background information um, through the Commission of Churches and the International Affairs. To see it as a layman would, you would actually, um, it would actually take you to the li library's libguide within the collection. And there it is. Not only is the collection available on um, DTL, but it is also available in um, OCLC because this has been promoted globally. So you can see, um, so as you can see right here, it is um, located in the OCLC database. I'm rather proud of it. Um, it wasn't easy to do. Um, there are over a thousand titles, but it was a pleasure. Thank you for your time today. I do hope you have a fantastic afternoon or evening.